you very much, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, Lady Justice Philomena Betemwiru, my lords, my colleagues, Lady Justices, uh, the Honorable Members of the Judicial Service Commission, uh, the Honorable Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Kihara Karioki, the Honorable uh, Chief Registrar of the Judiciary and all the Deputy Registrars and Registrars present, the Directors, the, the staff of the Judiciary. I also see my MP, the Honorable Rahim Dawood, and our lovely families, uh, members of the press, good afternoon. Uh, it is indeed an honor for me to stand here with great humility and gratitude to the Almighty God, to the people of Kenya who exercise their sovereign power through the Judicial Service Commission that nominated me to this position of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya, to the people's representatives at the National Assembly who approved by nomination, and to the Excellency, the President of the Republic and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, who a few uh, hours ago has graciously witnessed my solemn oath of office today. This is indeed a momentous occasion that is witnessed by many with joy and hope. Not only because I'm the first woman in Kenya to take this of oath of office, but because every time a member of the marginalized group breaks the barrier, they own a space for the dreams and hopes of others. I have traveled this long journey, but it was not at all only because I walked the path of other women trailblazers, trailblazers who went before me. And after many trials, I can confidently say the path now is well defined and easier for others to travel after me. As the Deputy President of the United States, Kamara Harris, said, I am the first, but certainly not the last. I have taken this oath of office today with utmost solemnity, and I've taken time to internalize each and every word that I've uttered therein very, very seriously. And those who are present with me at that solemn occasion, you heard the president repeat the oath for us to internalize, and indeed I have done that. These are important ones which are often referred to as guiding principles, impartiality, independence, fairness, power to protect the Constitution, to render service and in, with integrity and competency. This oath will constantly remind me that this power is entrusted to us as servants of the people, to work with others, to once ensuring justice is done, that it is dispensed expeditiously, without fear or favor or undue regard to technicalities. My lords, my readers, readers and gentlemen, the weight and the responsibility that now falls on my shoulders in the role of the Chief Justice of Kenya cannot be understated. It is a heavy one, but it becomes lighter because it is a shared responsibility. It is a shared responsibility because justice works through a chain which runs through all the branches of government and it is as strongest as its weakest ring. At the end of the chain, it is has the judiciary, but we cannot work when the chain is broken. We must always restore the coordination and the focus to the justice system that requires renewed commitment 
to working together as co-equal branches of government. The executive has a duty to ensure budgetary allocations that support the functions of the judiciary, to ensure that we get the support necessary for the court orders to be obeyed and implemented, that the investigations and prosecution of cases are undertaken efficiently. The registration has the mandate to make law and oversight other branches, including in approved nominations, like they did of mine. The judiciary's law is to adjudicate conflicts based on the Constitution and the law to promote peace and prosperity. To resolve conflict, however, doesn't mean that all parties are satisfied, and our constitutional democracy requires that those who are dissatisfied with the legal rulings and judgments pursue the matter through judicial process and legal channels. As we continue to encourage legal resolution of conflict and enforcement of court orders, we intend to create an enabling environment where everybody is treated with dignity. And therefore, then we will attain sustainable development. When I appeared before the August House for vetting and approval of my nomination, I was put to task to explain how the judiciary can remain independent and work in harmony with other harms of government without compromising our independence. Ladies and gentlemen, my runs and ladies, I have no difficulties to state that the independence of the judiciary in decision making and as stated in the hold that I and my brother have taken today cannot be interfered with. Our decision making in hiring of staff, that independence is protected and ring fenced in the Constitution such that any party or authority attempting to direct how the judiciary should decide a matter would be in violation of the Constitution. I also had no difficulties at all to state that as the judiciary, we are accountable for the resources entrusted to us, both human resource, we are accountable for every hour and every day of work as well as other resources entrusted to us. My clarion call today is for everybody to bear their own weight and take agency for ensuring that we all become champions for justice. Justice belongs to all of us. Justice cuts across all our lives. We need to play our constitutional mandate to ensure that we deliver justice for the people and the people themselves become agents for their own uh, justice. When everybody bears the responsibility for justice from individuals to institutions, we promote resolution. And we actually know we need to resolve our disputes before even we go to court. We will be emphasizing on reconciliation because this is our country and whatever is not working, we must find solutions and the solutions are within us. And we can uphold the Constitution by avoiding the pitfalls that lead to unceasing conflict and endless litigation. In our daily endeavors, let us, as Kenyans, embrace the various methods of alternative dispute resolution mechanisms. Let us live by the values that avoid conflict, that leads us to see each other as equal members of the society, to treat each other with dignity, with respect, as human beings, we all know we are children of God, deserving a second chance. Let us seek and practice Ubuntu. As I end this retro speech today, because Monday is the big day, I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody. I want to specifically mention the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, who has been acting Chief Justice of the Judiciary up to today, for the way she has taken the leadership of the judiciary, 
for the last four or five months, there has been no gap in the delivery of service or in all the work that the judiciary does. From the bottom of my heart, my lady, the Honorable Deputy Chief Justice, I want to thank you. I want to thank the Judicial Service Commission who undertook this exercise of the appointment of the Chief Justice and Judge of the Supreme Court under very, very difficult circumstances. But they stoically stood to the call of duty and ensured that today we stand here, I and my brother, to take the oath of office and to take the offices that we have been given through the Constitution of Kenya. I want to thank all Kenyans, the Law Society, I want to thank all the stakeholders and the many people who prayed for the judiciary and prayed for me. I want to thank our families. I want to thank my brother, the Honorable Mr. Justice William Ouko. I think people need to come to us and learn a lesson of how to compete for an office with grace and dignity. Because that is what we did. We were classmates. He was my boss, the president of the Court of Appeal. We competed for the same position, and we kept on en encouraging and cheering one another that we are in a friendly match. This is a lesson politicians need to learn from us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the warm welcome. My colleagues in the Supreme Court, I can't wait to enjoy this warmth that you have shown me today uh, to sit with you. My colleagues in the Court of Appeal, when we came down the stairs this morning to join the convoy, we were tearing up, I and my brother, to leave the Court of Appeal because indeed this is the court that has nurtured us. This is the court that has trained us. This is the court that has made us who we are. We are most grateful to the Court of Appeal. Judges, magistrates, directors, all of you judicial staff for doing what you are supposed to do. God bless you so much. God bless Kenya. Asante.